curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today we're going to do a little side by side comparison slash detangling race. I'm going to be testing how long it takes to detangle my curls using just my fingers versus the tangle teaser. The tangle teaser is a very popular detangling brush. To be completely honest, the very first time I ever saw this brush in stores and I saw that it was supposed to detangle and also help with curly hair, I was like, <laughs> there's no way. Look at these little bristles. Excuse the hair, I just, you know, detangled with it. But I looked at this and I was like, there's no way these little teeth are detangling anything. Because if you have curly hair, you know that we're always told to use things like a wide tooth comb. Wide tooth. There's nothing wide about these bristles. So it kind of just goes against everything that we were kind of like raised on. But I did notice that even when I detangle, like I think it's supposed to be like this because it has like a perfect curve for your hand, a little rest for your finger, and then you're supposed to like, you know, detangle. But I keep holding it like this. I think that also feels more comfortable, <laughs> even though, oh wait, that kind of fits in this little groove. I don't know what's correct, but um, you know, just do whatever feels comfortable. I think I like this way, is that wrong? So today you're gonna see a live demonstration of how this Tangle Teaser works versus just the tangling with my hands. Alrighty, this is not looking very good. My hair is so tangled, it's like day five. I don't even know what. This is either the worst time to do this or the best. But I am gonna wash my hair first using my Naughty Blonde Locks. I've been using this shampoo for my newer blonde hair. And after I rinsed it out, as you can see, there's still, you know, this little bird nest that's happening in here. So I'm gonna grab my Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Creamy Conditioner. This is one of the few Carol's Daughter products that is silicone free and I actually love this conditioner to detangle. So I'm gonna prep this through my hair, get all my curls ready, and then I'm actually gonna risk my cell phone for you guys and time this so we see how long it takes. Ready, set, go! Let's do this. I usually edit out some of my detangling to some of my videos aren't that long, but today I wanna show you my entire detangling process in real time, but you know, just sped up. So this is exactly how long it takes for me to detangle my hair. And this is actually the CG way to detangle. Just using your fingers, it's supposed to be a more gentle way to detangle your curls without ripping out any hair. And this is something that I've been doing for a long time. It works for me, especially if you have a really good conditioner with good slip. I personally also like to detangle with my fingers because I feel like I get a little bit more elongation because I'm pulling my curls down, stretching them out, instead of doing anything to create some more extra definition. Okay, we're done. Time, two minutes and 50 seconds. So here's how my hair looks after being detangled, completely drenched in conditioner, and my curls look like this. Not bad, something that I'm usually used to every day. Now to apply some more conditioner to the other side, kind of prepping my hair, smoothing it in the cuticle, really getting it on the ends, and let's begin with the Tangle Teaser. Now when you use a brush, you always should start at the bottom of your hair, and you also want to hold a little bit above wherever you're brushing so that you're not yanking it from your scalp. So start from the bottom and work your way up. Now it's interesting because I feel like this brush isn't, like penetrating through my hair because the little bristles are so small it feels like it's just combing like the outside and not really getting through my hair if that makes sense but I did notice that there are two different size bristles on this brush so the long ones are supposed to help with the tangling and the short bristles are supposed to help smooth down the cuticle now even though it doesn't feel like it's getting out the tangles it obviously is because I'm getting it done, but I did notice I keep getting like a little hand cramp by holding this. Like it's just not very comfortable in my hand or it's something that I need to get used to. Because of the weird shape and it's a plastic circle brush, it does get kind of slippery, so I have dropped it before. But now I'm getting down to the final tangles and we're done. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Actually a good 20 seconds faster than detangling with my hands. So here's the side with the Tangle Teaser, definitely combed out, and here's the side that I detangled with my hands. Hmm, 
I feel like the side with my hands might look a little bit longer. My curls aren't as defined as the tangle teaser side though. What do you guys think? I decided to go back to my hair and smooth it down. And look at that. With the conditioner in there, it just like really curls up my curls, making these little ringlets. Let's just watch a couple of these just because it's kind of like very soothing and oddly satisfying. Okay, that's enough of that. How many of you guys could watch that all day? <laughs> but I was interested to see that I actually had less shedding from the Tangle Teaser over my fingers. Hmm, maybe I'm just a very aggressive finger brusher. <laughs> so one more last look. Finger to Tangled side versus the Tangle Teaser side. I decided to go back over my other side and just use the brush again just so I don't look crazy and all of my hair is equally defined. I do think using a brush probably gives a better penetration into the hair, probably evenly distributes all the product better than just your fingers, and just really puts some product on every single curl. But when you do use a brush like this, you are risking getting more shrinkage because you're making better curls, basically. So the tighter the curl, the more shrinkage you're going to have. And here are my curls. Out of the shower, I put some Dippity Doo Girls with Curls mousse, and I love my results. So there you go. Very interesting results. I really thought I was gonna be faster with my fingers, but the Tangle Teaser did win, and it also gave me some really, really, really good definition. Now, the hair you're looking at now is technically day two. I took that shower last night, so this is kind of like a day and a half hair, not even really day two, but look how special spiraled my curls are. This curl right here, this one's just trying to show off. Like, who are you about to go see? So overall, this does do a good job of detangling. I was very, very skeptical just by judging the look of it, but it does get the job done. It does get it done quickly. It just is a little, it takes some getting used to. You know, like, I don't know if this is a normal brushing motion. I don't think this is, these are like all awkward angles. So I do think it'd be much better with a handle. And because all of you guys spoke up, there now is a new version with a handle. I remember seeing a post, a Tangle Teaser posted saying like, we heard you and we delivered. So I really, really, really hope I get to try the Tangle Teaser with the handle. I feel like that would be like a game changer. And I probably start using that all the time. But fortunately, these are really easy to find. The Tangle Teasers are sold at Target, at Ulta, at Sephora, on Amazon, and they're only 12 bucks. So for that affordable price and that easily accessible, I say give it a try. If you're someone that's looking for some more definition, definitely use the Tangle Teaser. I 100% recommend the Tangle Teaser over the Denman brush. Like, don't even try to detangle with the Denman brush. You're just gonna cry, it's gonna rip out your hair. Only use the Denman brush for definition. But the Tangle Teaser will help you detangle your curls and can also give you that same like ringlet definition that you use the Denman brush for. So, teach his own, that's my opinion. But what do you think? Have you tried the Tangle Teaser? Have you tried the Denman brush? Do you detangle with your fingers? Let's get down to the bottom of this and figure out what is every curly person's favorite way to detangle. If you enjoyed this video and or want me to review the Tangle Teaser with the handle, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys want that video. And I post two videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And if you want daily curly hair tips, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.